It's the uh, first day that it's been pretty uh, sunny outside. Going back to my vegetable garden real quick on the way to the shed. Look at how tall this guy has gotten. This is going to be like a whole head of lettuce, or uh, the skinny ones at least, probably within a few weeks. Pretty impressive. We're going to be going into the shed again. I have my fiance's mom already mixing up some of the slip because today we're going to be casting one of the molds that are in here actually because you guys requested it. My last video actually got about a thousand views, which is crazy. And uh, I actually know which one that I want to do because it was the one on my last one that I thought was pretty interesting. And I believe it's this one right here. Yeah, it's the uh, semi truck. So we're going to be um, slip casting this one right here. And this mold right here was manufactured in Fresno, California in 1977. So that's pretty crazy right there. She doesn't quite want to have her face on camera, so we're going to try to avoid doing that. So we're just going to set that down right there. And then we're probably going to need to clean it out a little bit because it's a little bit dirty. Yeah, you do. Okay, so we're going to get some tools that we have up here. Thank you. We're just going to try to kind of clean this out as much as we can. Outside? Oh, that'd be a good idea. So we don't get any around this area. All right, so we're going to put it on our kind of decommissioned ping pong table. We're going to set this down right here. Let's see about getting some of this dirt out of here because it's it's pretty in there if you guys can see. We want to make sure that it's as clean as possible so that we can put that uh, slip in there. But the mold itself is in really good condition. If you can see right down in there, even like the small little ridges and everything are still pretty much intact. This side's even better. It's just mainly um, cobwebs and stuff that have gotten into the little nooks and crannies. Let's just try to get us out as much as we can. I wanted to do this first person because I did my last video in first person. So doing this with one hand is a little difficult, but I like to do more mold cleaning videos where I actually have my whole camera set up and everything. So if we can get anything out of there. Look how much dirt came out of that. Quite a bit with just a kind of a small brushing that we're doing. Try to kind of like spin it in the wheel. I noticed a lot of people said they like these vlog style videos. Yeah, I do too. I like making vlog style videos. Um, not only is it easier, um, <laughs> um, but it's also, uh, it's fun because you can be, you know, super real, no edits. I mean, I'm always real, but like, I don't cut out any mistakes or anything like that unless it's like a super big mistake. Like my last video, I brain farted for like uh, a good, like six to 10 seconds at the end of the video because I forgot what I was going to say. So I did cut that out. But everything else is pretty raw in these and I like that. I think we're loosening up pretty much most of the dirt in here. I'm going to give a little bit of a tap. Yeah, see that should be pretty much perfect now. I'm going to do a little bit of a, more of a brush over on that one. But this one right here, we really need to loosen up the dirt that's in these wheels. And it's these small crevices that tend to give the most trouble. But as you see, they kind of loosened up a little bit now. Give it a little tap. Look at that. That wheel, clear, that wheel uh, cleared out a lot. And then let's try to twist it in here. There we go. We're getting there. And then over here. Push that. See, the stuff on the outside doesn't really matter too much because it's just the spot where the clay slip's going to go into. And that's what these little uh, crevices are for, these little openings. Let's go ahead and tap that again. I'm going to blow into it real quick. Look at that. Much better. Same thing with this. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of dirt right here in this little kind of corner pocket, so I'm going to try to 
work my magic with twisting this brush. Let's blow it out. Voila. Pretty much done. And then let's go ahead and put it together and then bring it back into the uh, shed. And we're going to set it back down. And now she's going to go through with you um, basically what's going to be happening right now. So right. what's going to be happening? Well, the first thing is this is small enough, probably wouldn't need to, but we're still going to bind it just to be on the safe side. Yeah, so we're going to put around this... Um, any, Velcro, it'll keep it from seeping out the edges. Not just seeping out the edges, but uh, the pressure of the slip can completely just push it apart. Yeah, because it expands a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's just it's a lot of pressure against it. So yeah. you want to keep it to where it's... It... See, now it's nice and tight. Now the two pieces kind of fit together like a puzzle piece. And yeah. what's going to happen is we're going to pour in some of this slip in these two notches right here. And then we're gonna leave it in there for a certain amount of time until the moisture, the, uh, what's this made out of, the ceramic? It's, it's, a, it's plaster. Plaster, the plaster is going to, uh, oh. let's see if we can get a good pour on there. The plaster is gonna absorb the, absorb, <laughs> absorb the moisture in here. And that's gonna cause it to gel, a certain amount of it will. But then the inner parts we're going to actually pour out, and it's the shell, like I said before, that's left over that kind of takes the design. So right now we got uh, it all filled up. And uh, how long do you think it's going to take for this one? You're only going to count probably about a minute. A minute? A okay. Minute and a half. All right, I'll see you guys back in a minute. All right, so it's been about a minute, so we're going to go ahead and pour this back down in here. Let's go ahead and... There we go. So see how much actually comes out? So sometimes you pour out almost as much as it seems as you put in there, but it's what the actual mold itself, you know, it adheres on the inside. The longer you keep the slip in there, the thicker the wall will yeah, be. Yeah, it'll be thicker because it'll gel um, more. But you have to worry about ones that have thinner openings mm -hmm. that they... Um, will gel over and you can't pour the excess out mm -hmm. and you'll end up with a solid. Yeah, and you don't want to have a solid. If you're going to fire it, um, because these things need to dry, they need to be bone dry, kind of like these guys. They're still kind of in the process, but um, they have to be completely dry because the moisture would cause them to explode when they get too hot if they're not completely dry. So, and I was also thinking, guys, like, she works on these tirelessly to create a bunch of them and I was thinking of making update videos every time she has a new batch we can go over these kind of individually and see how they look all the different ones that come out I really like this one again like the one I showed in my video the other day that's so cool all right and now how long are we gonna wait for this to uh, do its thing being small it shouldn't take as long as others but mm -hmm. it is also cold or wet or weather Mm -hmm. So um, you should give it a few hours at least. A few hours? Before you try opening it. All right, so we're going to give this probably around like two hours, I'd say, and then I'll be back. And probably I'm going to have to turn the uh, light on because it's going to probably be getting dark by that time. I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, so it's been about almost two hours. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and see if it came out right. It might need a little bit more time, but hopefully it's going to work out right. It's sticking on the one side. You want to flip it over to the other? Oh. Oh, hey, Another check it out. Another two separate parts, so. Yeah, these are two separate parts. Right. So we're going to get some tools out right now and see if we can't pry that out of there. But look at that shape. Look at that. So we removed the excess at the bottom because that's just the piece or the portion where we poured it in. And then we just kind of peel it off. And let's go ahead and zoom in on it. Look at that. 
You can even see some of the details on the wheels as well. It's kind of hard to focus in like really close, but I think if I hold it still, we can get it uh, focused in. Yeah, there we go. Check that out. And some of the imperfections on here, they can be uh, filed out or you can use the tools on them while it's wet, like that seam line in the front. Usually after it's dried, you have to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We still got to get this out. And then that has a bottom on it. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a pistol or something, like a half semi pistol. It's kind of satisfying how it just like kind of peels off of there. Sometimes it won't, and then you have to use a tool, but yeah, for the most part it will. And then that actually, uh, the bottom of that, does it actually have an indent? It's got a, a skull okay. that you it has can... A, you can actually probably peel that out of there. Or you can actually connect both of them into a solid piece. But if you technically... You could do it with holes to where you can make it also to where it's like something that could possibly move. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Look at that. Try to get a really good zoomed in shot. My camera, since the lighting in here is not great, doesn't want to focus in yeah, too much. Get better lighting in here. Look at that. That's so cool, and that's just one, like I said, out of all these other guys that are up here. Like I said, these chess pieces the other day, these are my favorite right here. Oh, this is a creamer. Oh yeah, I remember I showed that uh, yesterday, because the actual thing comes out of the cow's mouth. Yeah. And then we just, milk just put milk in that. But yeah, I want to go over all of the rest of these guys eventually, and kind of show them off, and I think you guys would really enjoy that. But yeah. This is what we made today, and it only took about two and a half hours. So imagine how many things you can make with uh, all of these over 2,000 molds that we got in here. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Let me know, you know, what other cool things that you think I should do, you know, with these molds. And uh, thanks so much for um, Tori's mom for, or my fiance's mom for helping out with this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.